everybody welcome back to art and outdoor life here with john i'm hoping that you're having a great day a great evening a good morning wherever you are and whatever time you're watching this video i'm an aspiring artist a beginner painter i started two years ago in 2022 and i'm a seasoned musician i've been playing music all my life professionally Anyways, I want to wish you a wonderful day, and thank you for coming back, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Sincerely yours, John. Welcome back, everybody. I hope that you're having a great day. So, in this painting, and like all of my paintings I'm doing from imagination and what I did was I blended some white here with some cobalt blue and I've already misted the paper I want to address something here really quick okay it was brought to my attention that I paint a lot like my cousin okay that I was copying my cousin that I was you know and people I want to let you know and believe me when I say this I do not copy anybody's paintings in fact I don't even do reference photos I don't do reference photos okay the ideas that come from my, they come from my mind, my imagination, when I show up here to paint. Okay, now I've been doing this for two years now. It'll be two years in a week, in a week. And no, I do not do that. Now, I do want to say though, um, it is, uh, that is a compliment, you know, if I can paint like my cousin, that is a compliment. Who's my cousin? Okay. My cousin is Joe Menza Art. Joe Menza Art. Look him up. If you don't know who he is, if you've never seen him paint, look him up. He's, he's a great artist. In fact, he's the very reason why I paint. He suggested almost two years ago, or it was two years ago, that I might want to try painting. You know, I was struggling with my creativity. I had a lot of stress going on in my life. I had a lot of things going on and uh, in age and everything. And in fact, he sent me my first two paintbrushes that I'm using. To this day, which is the large hake and the medium hake brush. And my very first painting I ever did, he told me, go on his channel and look at it. It's a painting with one color. And I did. And after that, I was hooked. And I found, you know, something that I was able to incorporate into my life in a meaningful, positive way. So, to those people who say that I paint like my cousin, um, that is uh, very much, uh, that's a compliment. But when you're saying that I'm copying my cousin, that's not a compliment, people. Okay? Um, that is not a compliment. I don't copy anybody. Okay? Um... I don't look at someone's painting or anybody's video and say, Oh yeah, I'm going to do this video. I never do that. Never. In my life. For me, it's about... If you know me by now, it's all about getting the stress off of me. Relaxing. This is how I cope with my PTSD and my panic disorders. Severe panic disorders. In my depression. Okay. But. 
you know, so that is not a compliment. When, when people are saying that I'm actually copying videos, that is not a compliment, people. Um, if I paint like my cousin, well, I don't try to, you know, I just paint like how I feel it, you know, um, and I'm young. I mean, I'm still wet behind the ears. Yeah, I'm up in my fifties, but I'm still young, right? So I just wanted to clear the air right away and, um, you know, you know, I, I paint for a hobby, yeah, eventually I do want to be able to see if I can go out and inspire others. That's part of my channel. Besides, uh, you know, the outside outdoor life stuff. So, um, and again, go go visit his channel. His It's Joe Menza Art. You can look him up on Instagram. You can find him on Facebook. And Joe Menza art you could find right here on YouTube. Okay, so now let's get with the painting. So, I'm painting a place that's very near my house. And a place called Cain's Bottom. And they call it that because uh, we're painting along the Merrimack River here. And... Uh, in Missouri and there are bluffs along the Merrimack River all up and down this is the upper Merrimack River of uh, Missouri in the Ozarks okay so what I did here was I'm putting down some uh, burnt sienna there because I want to I've added my blues with my greens and, and the yellows and these are the, the bluffs along the river okay that I'm using here with the uh, burnt sienna and the reason why it's called Cain's Bottom I'm guessing is because a lot of people have jumped off this bluff and killed herself and uh, people still I mean it it's a very, I don't know, it's probably about four stories up. Maybe, maybe higher. Um, so, looking at it this way, we're looking at the river this way, is uh, going toward Merrimack Spring, or Merrimack State Park. And eventually you would hit Merrimack Springs in Steelville. Now, if you come follow the river downward it curves down to uh, Merrimack Caverns the world famous Merrimack Caverns so I'm using the card here and I'm trying to get those rocks to pop out and um, you know that because that's how it is pretty much and if you look at the way I've painted, I basically dabbed the paint on there to get the shades, to kind of dress it up with shades, okay? And almost like an oil painting, like an impressionism. And if you're looking at the bottom, you'll see it almost looks like the reflection from the trees, right? So, and this is, Another painting I did from imagination. Everything I do is from imagination. I'm not copying nobody. I'm not, you know, thinking about anybody when I paint. And I don't do that. I, I just think about things. I come in here and I paint. And, uh, but, yeah, I had a good conversation. Let me tell you a little bit about my cousin and I. <coughs> Excuse me. We have great respect for each other, and we always have. And in our family, um, on our family, on our side of the family, with Joe Menza Art, we have talent in our family that goes back over 120 years. 
not only in music, but in painting and as well as uh, the culinary field. Um, and I've said it a few times, art is a talent, okay? But, like, if you want to be talented, okay, like, if you don't see yourself as being talented, okay, um, I'm sorry to hear that, but let me just say this. and Remember these words. Remember this very word, okay? Talent is a pursued interest. Talent is a pursued interest. In other words, if you like something enough and you keep at it and keep trying, you'll eventually get there. You'll, you'll find that you can do it. Okay? So when people say, I don't have a talent, I can't play guitar, um, I'm not musically inclined, I can't dance, or, you know, I, I'm not good at this or that, it's a pursued interest. You got to be interested in it enough and be willing to step out, even if it's outside of your comfort zone, and get into that and, and keep going at it. And you don't quit. It's a pursued interest. That's what talent is. Okay? We all have talent. It's just a matter of bringing it out, uh, you know. So never say never, you know. Um, these are encouraging words. So here I'm splitting up this river a little bit. Put some titanium white on there. And um, kind of dressing it up a little bit with the white. Um. But yeah, you know, and like for me, I'm I still consider myself wet behind the ears as a painter. You know, I mean, two years, just going on two years. That's not, you know, for me, that's not enough to say I'm a professional painter, right? But I mean, there's different ways of why I paint. I paint because I love to paint. I paint because it takes away the stress, the anxiety. It, it, you know, it's my personal time. And that's part of the reason why I created this channel was for outdoor life, which is everything outdoors, and art, which is everything art, from cooking to guitar playing, music to painting. And painting is very new to me. So I'm always learning about painting. I watch a lot of videos. Um, but I don't sit back and go, I'm going to do that video. I never do that. Um, I don't sit back. And, and I, in the beginning, I actually did. I tried to paint. Like, there are some, you know, instructional videos that are free here on YouTube. I actually tried that, and I tell you what, that took me like three and four hours just to try to get a painting, and it never worked for me. It never worked. So I gave that up. That was a waste of my time. Um, so if you look, I, I kind of uh, tried to create uh, an oil effect by swooping down there from the top of those rocks down into the river. Okay. And uh, I'm just enjoying this painting. I really am. Uh, pretty soon I'll be uh, taking some video and going out and showing you some of the scenes out here. Uh, so beautiful. Beautiful scenes. You know, I live out in the Ozarks. In order to get those great scenes, those postcard, postcard uh, 
you know, pictures, you got to pretty much go out in on a highway or, you know, somewhere where there is a scenic view. You know, when you live in it, you don't really, you don't see it. Not, not out here in, uh, you know, in the foothills of the Ozarks. And the tallest point in Missouri isn't far from where I live either. But being, you know, in the wilderness, you're not getting those views. You know, but I do have, there's, there's quite a few places out here and anywhere, you know. And I'll be sharing some of that video with you. I hope that you've been enjoying my videos. And, you know, I, my thing is I want to encourage you to paint. To encourage the positive, the positivity in you. Um, to relieve distress. So that you can learn how to do it. And apply it to your everyday life. Whether it's once a week or a couple months or whatever. But, you know, I want to and share my experience with you in that. Now here, if as you see, I'm dabbing it and I'm giving it like a fog effect. A fog effect. Believe that. With no white, right? Um, anyways, I, I really had a great time. And please do look up my cousin, uh, Joe Menza, at Joe Menza Art. You'll love his videos. He's an awesome painter. He's been doing it for years now. And he's taught me quite a few things. He's a great guy. And go ahead and uh, please do that. And I'll get back with you in the next video. So I'm adding a little bit of white here, titanium white. Sometimes I have Chinese white. Sometimes the white don't even say what it is. Just putting in some clouds. And, you know. I, and I am going to start painting from reference photos. Uh, just to see what I can do. But it's art is an adventure, and now I'm skipping along with the white to kind of give the ripples in the water there. I want to wish you guys a, a good, peaceful, wonderful day. Thank you for viewing. Sincerely yours, John. Put a little birds in there. A few birds. Beautiful, beautiful landscapes and the wildlife. 